Card Weekend begins next week, but that'll have to wait until this Week 17 matchup plays out between the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons here at the Georgia Dome. Happy New Year, everybody. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, thanks for sharing the holiday with us. Let's get ready for some football. Well, you got to make sure the players and coaches are focused here today, Jim. The holiday season, here it is. You know, did you let your family get you too involved or you forgot about your job? And that's playing this game because it takes all your concentration to make it happen. We'll find out who's been partying during this holiday season. And the latest on today's matchup, we head down to the field, and here's Danielle Bellini. Thanks, Jim. With two weeks left in the regular season, it's easy to recognize that every storyline revolves around this team going undefeated. The players and coaches all realize this fact, and guys, it's motivating them more than anything else. They know every opponent is out to play spoiler at this point, which is just making them focus more and more on their game plans each week. This is a team that's going to be hard to beat. Back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Davis is heading out now for his first series. Panthers will come out in the dime. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He steps out. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They rip off the long running play early in this game. This offense, every week, they come up with new ways to run the football. I haven't seen them play before. Caught the defense by surprise, and it picked up big yards. Roddy White makes the reception. Now you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. You got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. Is. And he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Newton's coming on to the field now, having found his mark last week on over 50% of his throws. Williams is in the backfield. First and 10. They're going to get him here for a sack. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. To second and 13. To Williams, swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Smith's in the slot. They sack the quarterback, and that's a quick series, a three and out. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but would you take those blindside hits? They don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming, your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. He's got a chance to return this one. Bringing the play to an end. The Panthers with a nickel look here on defense. First down and 10 for about five. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. 
This is the highest scoring team in the NFL. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Second down and six. Quarterback drops back, play action. He's got some daylight. This next play will be run from inside the 20. And a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. Gets away from the pressure, looking for an open wrist. Atlanta in for the score. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Falcons for the extra point. The point after is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and 10. Takes it from the strong eye. And now let's take a look at the Panthers offense. A lot of people thought coming into the year this would be one of the best rushing attacks in the league, but it's been very average to date. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory? Snickers satisfies. Working that left side and the throw, it's incomplete. Olsen's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Wants to give it a go here. This is a big-time return. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. First down here, they'll go ground. He'll go to the left. The Falcons come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Tony Gonzalez with the ball. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. He stacked up at that point. Two-minute warning. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And he hauls it in. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Let's round! 
here we have second down. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. Good job by the defense at times, stopping them inches short of the goal line. Big play. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Back to the ground. He's in for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Panthers will have plenty of work to do in the second half, but they'll want to try and cut into the lead here before the intermission. The score's 21 to 0. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. And Edwards is lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. On the money. Gains 20. First down here after the completion. Looking for a receiver up, and he's intercepted. He's into the open. Muscles through the defender. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. First and 10. Throwing now to his left. He fires it in there tight. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They and they score again here to pad the lead. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Falcons now will tack on the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Falcons defense will be ready to come back out in a moment. The offense making sure their efforts weren't wasted on the last drive, making good on the interception, and putting points on the scoreboard. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. It's first down as they head to the line. Looks to his left. Can't hold on. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second down and 10. They hand it off to the running back. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Tight end in motion. Third and six. Balls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. That does it for the first half. Panthers trail in this one. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. 
I caught up with Coach Smith during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and look confident in what we're doing, and it shows on this scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Now in first down. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Brings it into his body. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second and three. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Third and four. Throws to the right. Zeroed in on that one. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. First and ten. We're going to get him this time. Well, defensive tackle so many times they're in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fellow, good move at the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. They send the tight end in motion. Trying to work that left side. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. It'll be third down. O.C. Human Europe brings the quarterback down. Well, every defense is looking for somebody to sack the quarterback, and that time the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack. Looking to make a difference. Nice tackle. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Hand off to the pack. Middle linebacker. That means stay in the middle and make it happen. That time he takes on the block, gets off of it, makes the hit for no gain. Davis going to take the snap from the shotgun. Caught. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. They're able to move the chains after that last run. With two hands, he has it. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First and 10, the give. A gain of seven. The Panthers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Play number six coming up on this drive. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Oh, 
nickel formation here for the defense. And Davis is standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Eyeing that left side, and the throw is incomplete. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Second down, 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. Third and 10, challenging the defenders to the right side, jukes him. That's a third down conversion, a rare sight so far today. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First and 10 to Williams, and that'll be a gain of about two. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets a completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Second down and nine, looking to the right side and throwing. Knocked away incomplete. Good job by the linebacker, just watching the quarterback, reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Smith lined up in the slot. It's third and nine. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. This punt will be returned. Picks up about eight. Two tight ends on the field here. First and ten. High formation and a handoff. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Jackson's in the backfield, single back set. Scrambling out of the pocket. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Heading to the line for a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week, converting in these situations. Hauls it in for the first down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. This play set up by the long gainer. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's Luke Keekley who makes the tackle. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Second down, even after the completion. Play action. Looking long to Julio Jones. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Jackson. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. First and ten. Play fake here. He's wide open for the grab. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Takes the knee. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and 12, play action fake, looking to throw. Throws to the right. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Staying with the passing game on first down. Running play went for 11. The Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. Marching down the field and taking their time. First down, throwing again. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. Well, that had nothing to do with the outcome of the game, but still a very nice play there on the last play to score that touchdown. An extra point is good. The Panthers appeared primed to put up a fight in this one today, but that has certainly not been the case. They have been run off the field from the get-go. The score's 35 to zero. And this will probably wrap up the game. Now first and ten. Going for the deep ball. Right down Broadway. It was a one-sided matchup early, and this game is finally over. An undefeated regular season, Phil, and just how impressive is this? Well, Jim, I, I, I thought years ago it was impossible to do it, but we've seen it a few times here in the last decade, but now the pressure is just going to start because it's one thing doing it in the regular season, but to do it in the playoffs when you're going to face nothing but good teams, we're going to find out a lot more.